my friends, and welcome back to Fallout 2. In yesterday's video, we did make our way to the Gecko Settlement. It is filled with ghouls, and one of them was a kind of familiar face from Fallout 1, which was, which was awesome. We are currently in the power plant, gently poking around the sensitive power plant so that we don't break things, <laughs> and, which I'm totally gonna break something. I'm probably gonna break something, and I'm gonna create a new Grand Canyon or something awful. Anyway, let's talk to to Jeremy here. This is the fellow I left off with. He, oh yes, I want access to your all-powerful storage unit. Um, I need something from storage. I don't know what, but if I do, apparently I need a request authorization form. Do you have a request authorization form? And apparently I do. Here it is. Oh, this looks like it. All right, what do you need? I need a moss-covered three-handled gradunza? What? You need a <laughs> you need a what? Well, there's a waiting list for those. Need anything else? Nope, nothing else will do. Just have to come back. I what? A part requisition form. I okay. I don't. Well, apparently at some point I can come and pick up something from him. I don't know what it is, but I, apparently I can do that. Nothing in this this container. How about this one? More food to sell. It is nice that they don't get mad at me for poking around their longers. What is that? Cheesy poofs. Sure. Oh, and a desk. I think maybe I could pickpocket. What is... F1. Um, steel is three, so let's sneak. And let's steal from this fellow. Uh, we're gonna take his ammo. And then we'll take his money. Oh no! I got caught! Oh man! I'm, I'm a, I'm a dummy. Let's just go through all this. Nope. I should have just stolen his ammo and, and called it a day. <laughs> it's like Groundhog's Day. We're just gonna do things over and over again and hope for a different result, right? That made absolutely no sense. Done. Take all. Was there anything in the desk? No. Guys, you're... Guys. You thinking that you need time to smell the flowers? Grampy Bone says you're too pushy all the time. All the time. <laughs> Alright, let's save uh, here. Let's just take his ammo and be done with it. Okay. But let's go over here and talk to these fine fellows. Do you need supplies? I do need supplies. I need all the supplies. What does he say? Look at it glow. Can you see it? This much radiation sure spells job security for me. You want supplies, you'll need a requisition form. I have a requisition form. But... Apparently, it's not the right one. Nope. Nope. I like searching stuff. <laughs> Meat turkey, sure. Ooh, cards! <laughs> I can trade that one guy some cards. Oh, big book of science. Great. Oh, I got two of those now. Awesome. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. And... 
Nothing. Okay, we'll do the science books when I get out of here. Was there anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. All right, let's go to this room here. White, thick. Get out of the way. <laughs> A yellow key card. I have, I have like multiples of those now. Can't talk to him. All right, what's in this room? We like to live it in here because the radiation gives us a nice warm, fuzzy feeling. <laughs> and then this bookshelf. A blue key card. All right, so that's some ghouls with guns right there. No, 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 no. We need to actually come in here and look around. Junk. Computer. Okay, let's say before we go. Um, yeah, it should be fine. If something goes wrong, if something goes wrong, I there were coming looking for you. Yeah, this is why I'm having problems sometimes <laughs> reading. Appears to be locked. Okay, I've got a yellow key card. Can I use that on here? I can. So, yellow, yellow, red. What's the blue key card for, I wonder? I hear they got twisters miles wide in the Midwest. It's a big old radioactive dust bowl now. Oh, wow. Red key card, great. Anything in here? Watch my step. After a while, you don't need to need to look at the gauges. Um, I feel like you should be looking at gauges. I'm so bored. None of these gauges work anyhow. It feels best in here when the gauges are all in the red. No, that is bad. Bad, 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 I would think. A particularly unkept ghoul. Okay, maybe you're somebody I can actually have a conversation with. Hello there, I am Festus. I run the whole reactor. Without me, this whole town would be shut down. I'm a very busy man. They really overwork me here. Well, what do you, what do, you do here? I mean, he didn't just tell us, but <laughs> let's ask it anyway. Well, I supervise the atomic power plant. Really though, I run the whole thing by myself. By yourself, what are all these other people in the next room then doing then? Wastrels, that's all they are. Or wastrels, wastrels, that sounds better. Wastrels, that's all they are. They don't really understand what needs to be done. They're just placeholders. It irks me that they think they know something about atomic power plants. Why, if it weren't for me, 
Huh, what did you say you do here? <laughs> yep, I run the whole thing in a supervisory capacity all by myself. It would be impossible if I just weren't so darn good at it. It's a gift, really. You must know quite a bit about atomic power then. Know about atomic power? Well, I almost invented it. <laughs> <laughs> I know more about atomic power than anyone alive. If it's atomic power, I'm your man. I run the whole thing. Well, I don't want to keep you from your work. Goodbye. You know, I really do run the whole thing. It's pretty tough, but I do have many years of experience. I'm all pro when it comes to running atomic power plants. Um, most people think it's easy. They think it's just... That just anyone can run an atomic reactor, but it's not for the untrained or faint of heart. I'm harnessing the power of the atom here. I'm impressed. It sure would be nice to have some help, but you see, no one else is qualified to do what I do. They don't even understand the basics of what I do. How could anyone hope to keep up with you? You're above everybody. You know I am. I can tell that you really understand things like this. If, if I weren't so busy here, I'd run Gecko. And let me tell you, I'd run it right. You'd run the town too? This guy just won't stop talking about how awesome he is. Well, there wouldn't be any of this trading with Broken Hills for uranium ore. We just trade them power for it. Instead, they could run their, their city using the power of the atom. Wouldn't you have to run power lines across miles and miles of hazardous desert? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Well, I suppose so. Then we'd have them buy giant batteries from us. Yes, that's the beauty of it. Then they'd have to buy the batteries from us too. And that's just a start. I have other big plans like, you're a politician too? It's incredible that your talents cover such diverse fields. I'm just multifaceted, really. I'm very good at whatever I try. Seldom is there anyone better. Of course, I just happen to prefer running the atomic power plant. But if I wanted to, I could do anything else. I can't believe that everyone in Gecko doesn't see your true worth. It's going to go... I'm going to go tell them right now. Goodbye. I feel like these conversations are going to absolutely nowhere. Um, I understand that the reactor isn't running very well. Is that true? Well, it sure uses a lot of uranium, and it leaks some. <laughs> you know, I've asked somebody to fix it, but no one listens to me. I've heard that it's leaking radiation into the groundwater. Is that true? I thought you were the expert. Why don't you fix it? Just do what you... Just what do you do here anyway? No, let's go with the first one. Well, that's possible, but I don't think it would do any harm to anything. It's underground after all. I mean, no. <laughs> I think you may be wrong. Vault City has been complaining that your atomic reactor has been tainting their water with radiation. Yeah. Yeah. Not possible. No one would know more about it than me. They're just looking for someone to blame for their problem. We don't even draw from the same aquifer. You sound sure, but so did they. Well, they're just a bunch of amateurs when it comes to atomic power. I'm the real expert here. You can take what I say to the bank. If there were any banks left, that is. <laughs> can I trade with this guy? Well, I guess you know what you're talking about. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure he has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. Why do you look and smell as though you're you're falling apart? Um. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, none of this stuff is rock gun. Oh, yeah, none of this stuff is going to be great to give to what's her name. The lady back in Vault City. So I'm guessing in here is where I need to go to repair everything. But I don't actually have the part to repair it with. Did I get any kind of update at all? I don't think I did. No, just solve the gecko power plant problem. It was some part that Vault City might have, but they don't want to give it to them because, you know, ghouls. Computer is not functioning. Is my repair skill high enough? I don't think it is. Eight. Uh, science? I feel like... Let me... I'm gonna get to the right screen eventually. Okay, what is my science skill at right now? It is at 49. 
All right, let's try to learn. Let's try to learn stuff. I learned new science information. Fifty-eight. I failed to learn anything, as usual. Okay. All right, well, I'm not sure what else I can do here. <laughs> it's like, there's no point going in there if I don't have any way to fix it. Yeah. Oh, uh, hang on. Well, let's save and... I've got the red key card. How's my radiation? Fine so far. There's a robot. That one there. Hello, I'm Hank. I take care of the inside of the reactor core. Not that much ever needs to be done there. Hi, Hank. I need to get inside the core. Hank, I have a coolant report from Harold that you need to see. Here you go. Sure, let's try it. Let me look this over. According to this, our coolant level is way too high. I would have thought that turning off the coolant would lead to immediate meltdown, but I guess not. I'd better go turn off the coolant right now. Good thinking, Hank. I better get going. On second thought, maybe you should wait a moment on that. Let me check with Harold before you... Yeah, let's not mess with anything. Um... Oh, does he have something to trade? No, you have nothing to trade. Okay, well, can I? There's a computer that's working behind him. Hello, welcome to RMR and RCT Station 3. RMR RCT? Station number three, reactor maintenance and repair robot control terminal. Function? This terminal is designed to coordinate and command a reactor maintenance and repair robot. A robot, huh? Let me see what I can find out about that. Reactor maintenance robot is ready for initialization slash startup sequence functional access code. Function? Um, okay, and then action. This terminal is used to input command data for the robotic maintenance and repair unit assigned to Poseidon Oil Reactor Number 5. This terminal also allows access to Poseidon.net. Some kind of network, huh? I wonder if I can access that. Uplink with Central Poseidon.net initiated. Enter primary security access code sequence. Oh. I don't I don't know it. I'm just gonna log off because I don't want to I don't want to break the computer. Uh, initialize? Access code. Okay, log off. Okay, so I could use the robot to repair it, but I don't have the code. Guys, can you move, please? Please, please, please move. I mean, it's like a wall of companions. And I don't have the part to fix it. And I have a requisition form, but I don't know what to requisition, I guess, either. <laughs> so the only clue that I have is to go back to Vault City and get a part. If they'll even let me do that. No, no, no. Oh, we're going that way. And we're going to go over here. And then we go out here. Okay, so we went to the reactor with, with very little success. But there is another area over here we can go into. Okay. Survival gear locker. Okay. Machine shop. What's in here? Let's go in here first. Another cheating smooth skin. I, hey, look, the other fellows seem to like me just fine. Weather's been really dry lately. Well... Yeah, I can't imagine you get much rain. And if you do get rain, I imagine it's the radiated kind, right? Okay. Survival gear locker, what do you have for me? 
Hello there, Percy Crump here, master merchant in this locality, but you can call me just plain old Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everybody does. Now, what can I do for you? I was just wondering what's going on here in town. Not a whole lot new here in town. I hear Woos rooked some newbie out of a black orchard the other day. <laughs> Anyhow, to other, other than that, my friend Woody's done gone missing. Oh, well, tell me about that. Well, you see, I had a friend name, name a Woody. That Woody, he can sleep like nobody I ever did see. What's worse, he likes to travel, really likes to kick up the dust that one does. Oh, okay. Well, that ain't so much of a problem around here that is. But last I heard, Woody was going to take a stroll over to the den. You know where the den is? I, yes, I do know where the den is. Well, anyhow, like I've been saying, that ain't so much of a problem around Gecko, but you see people in other parts ain't used to, used to the way we look. Yeah, they probably aren't. Can't you put two and two together? I'm worried that Woody might have, have taken himself a nap in the den. It's a long trip after all. And then they would have buried, oh no, they buried him. I'll have to look. I did, I do still have my shovel on me. I need someone to go and look for him there and... Well, I miss him. That's why Percy blinks moistly at you. Oh, I see. You want to know what's in it for you. I mean, kind of. This is usually the part where I get more interested. Tell on. <laughs> well, I know where I can get a hold of a heck of a lot of pre-war stock of Janewine, Radex, and Ranaway. Don't do me no oh, don't do me no good know how, but I figure that ought to be worth something to a smoothie like you. You gonna take the job? for me or not i'm i'll only pay you off if i know what he's safe just how much is a heck of a lot it's a darn sight more you'll ever need that's how much it is you gonna do it yes i will i will i will do that but i had other questions for you um not yet but i'm still looking hey hey do you have anything i can barter for yes why i sure do heck got all kinds of stuff here for the right price what do you have? What do you have? Not the ammo I need. Two well, what is it? I, I mean, no, 223 is for my assault. Is for... Is for the hunting rifle. And then... Hmm. Five millimeter is the one that I need for my assault rifle. Which the none of these are it. Okay, you've got stuff. I see this 14 millimeter pistol all the time. Done. That's it for me. Thanks, Percy. Goodbye. Okay, let's say before we loot his locker. Another yellow key card. <laughs> can I can I sneak? And no, that's disappointing. Nothing in the pot. How about on his shelf? Nothing there either. Oh, well, machine shop. How do we get in here? Ah, here's the door. There was a door over here. I saw it. Oh. <laughs> Vic just ran in for us. That's fine. Thank you, Vic. Dean's electronics? No, no. Take your time, Jane. It's fine. Ooh, lockpick. First time I've seen those. Well, mm, no, I don't even think I've seen them on vendors. Right, who is this guy? Old grease stained clothing? There's a person! <laughs> like, there's a human! Hello there, I'm Skeeter. I sort of put things together here. Oh. Have you heard of a, a Gek? Do you have a battery that I could use to fix a car? 
I have some things that I would want to talk to, to take a look at. Well, yeah, what do you do here? Mostly I just sort of tinker with things, take them apart and try and put them back together mostly. Make them work better sometimes, keeping myself out of trouble. Know what I mean? Um, yes, maybe? Have you heard of a geck? You're looking for a geck, huh? Well, I don't rightly know where you might find one of them, their things. I know that Vault City probably used to have themselves one. Vault City had one? Yes, Jane, keep up. <laughs> I'm sh They sure did. That's how come they're so darn well off. Uh, it sure ain't because they know what to do. It's because the Gek done started up their crops and got their town running when they came out of the vault. Who would have an unused Gek? Well, let me see here. As I recollect, most vaults were supposed to have them themselves a gag, right? Probably. That's probably what the story was. You might try looking for another vault somewhere. Oh, let's ask about something else. Um, I have some things I want you to take a look at. I have a pistol here and I was wondering, it sure looks as though you could bolt an accessory to this long arm here. What's that one? Skeeter studies your long arm and nods slowly. Can put a nice all-weather scope on that hunting rifle for $2,200. Nothing like having an assault rifle with an expanded magazine. I can fix yours up. I can fix yours up with one for $2,560. Oh my gosh. Uh, another weapon in mind? A pistol? Hmm, that Desert Eagle would sure be a sweet rig with an expanded magazine. Uh, let's talk about something else. Oh my gosh, this was expensive. Do you have a battery that I could use to fix a car? Funny thing you should ask. You see, cars used use use replaceable fuel cells or batteries for fuel. What usually broke down was the fuel cell controller. Most amateur mechanics just assume that it's a battery itself, but you know what? Assuming things does, don't you? No, I, no, I don't. What do you mean? And well, assuming something makes an ass out of you and me. Get it? Yes, I get it. But I made you say it. <laughs> That's still a good one, ain't it? <laughs> I haven't used it for years. Um, Thanks for the lesson. Now, do you have a fuel cell controller? Yep, sure do. Got it right here. Just waiting for a car to put it into. You got a car? Um, I know where one is. What's it going to cost me to get that fuel cell controller? I might have one. Maybe I just like a chipsets. Uh, let's go with the first one. Well, money's nice, but I need something else right now. Something I can't get for myself. Oh, what do you, what do you need? These days, a good, good tools is hard to get than parts is. I need myself a brand new super toolkit. Snap something brands best. A new toolkit. Where can I get that? Vault City. <laughs> I reckon that the best place to go and get that would be down in Vault City somewhere. Is they got all kinds of tools, but they sure as heck wouldn't give them give them to a ghoul know-how so you want me to bring you a super toolkit and then you'll give me the car part exactly that's the deal one super toolkit for one fuel cell controller sounds like a fair deal i guess let me ask you something else i kill you and i take that i could um can i barter with this fine uh, really we're gonna save because i want to see something let's Let's sneak. Um, it's fine. Let's go to his cabinet or his bookshelf rather. Nothing there. Let's try his desk. Nothing there. Okay. Am I trying to get the part that I already have? Then I got to pay for the car. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. All right, let's save again and talk to this guy. Hello there. You're probably here to see Skeeter. I don't really take care of the technical stuff. I'm just here to help out. Well, who are you? My name's, well, my real name's John, but everyone here just calls me Lumpy. Why Lumpy? Well, it's sort of a joke. You see, they usually call people like you and me smooth skins, but I was treated so poorly by other smooth skins down in Vault City that everyone here figured that I must be more lumpy than they are. Why were you treated so poorly in Vault City? Well, they said I wasn't human enough for them. I'm sort of radiation resistant. Perfect for here. But they didn't 
They didn't like it, treated me like dirt. Really? How are you radiation resistant? One day I just couldn't take it anymore. I figured that dying out in the waste was better than living with those assholes in Vault City. Well, how'd you end up here then? Well, a caravan from Broken Hills found me and brought me here. I've been here ever since. One thing about the ghouls here is that they care more about what kind of person you are inside. It's like a big family. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. Let me ask you something else, though. A family of freaks? That's so mean. <laughs> uh, what's all that junk in the junkyard? Well, some of this junk is left over from when they were building the reactor before the war. The rest of this stuff, I just don't know. Skeeter collects all kinds of stuff. Who's Skeeter? Well, Skeeter's sort of a mechanic. He takes apart almost anything that you bring him, gets most of them back together too sooner or later. Sometimes things end up working better than they did before. Um, what do you do here? I guard the Brahmin or help Skeeter in his workshop. Anything unusual going on around here? Well, I mostly stick to my business, but sometimes I think I hear things late at night. Oh, like what? <laughs> Me too, but I figure they're just voices inside my head. No, that's a different game I'm playing. Well, I'm not sure, mind you, but I think I've heard people, at least I thought it was, coming and going from the reactor pit late at night. People every night. Well, I don't know if they were people or what, but usually it's just every couple of nights, noises coming and going from the reactor pit. I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to know either. Guess I can't blame you. No telling what might be down there. Um, can I barter with you? I can! Gamma gulp. All right, you really don't... I mean, I can take some right away, but that's it. Um... Okay, well, I am going to pause here today. So in tomorrow's video, oh, it's looking like a, a reactor that wasn't built. I'm gonna finish exploring Gecko, and then it seems like we need to head back to Vault City to get several parts. I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but, but that's my plan. And as usual, we'll go from there. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 2 video. Thank <laughs> you.